Hey, Mustard, do you know why I'm Australia's favourite sauce? Your modesty. No, it's because I'm full of flavour. Mm, you're full of something. What was that? No, nothing. Sausage! Wondering how to clean away stubborn grease residue? Look no further than SpotGo, a surface and barbecue degreaser that guarantees a high quality clean SpotGo, available in all Woolworths and Coles. Look for it in the barbecue products aisle. Conveyor Services, delivering the right people to the right places. Welcome to the first episode of season three of Mariners TV. Can you believe we've made it this far? How good? <laughs> it is, it is um, yeah, sensational to be back. We are back in the amazing JC Entertainment and Events studios here. It's all a little bit fancy. It's all a little bit special. You'll see there's some new graphics and a few new things going on. So we've had a bit of a makeover. Uh, the glitz and glamour. It is. Yeah. Like, and um, I don't, really don't know how to feel about it. It's really good. It's just, it's all a bit much. But um, yeah, it's been a while, a um, couple of months since we've uh, kicked a ball in the field. But we do have a lot to chat about uh, this episode. So Pete, let's run through it. Well, you've got an action-packed one, don't we, Carly? Of course, we're catching up with uh, new Mariners head coach, Nick Montgomery. And we'll be catching up with uh, Mariners medal winner, Kai Rolls. Yes. Uh, Mariners CEO, Sean Millikamp, will join us as well. Um, as well as Mark Fazio from Mate, uh, who uh, launched their fresh new look today, Carly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see a little bit later on um, in the show. We've got their new commercial. They've got a new uh, change to their logo. And we do have a little bit of exciting news at the end as well. So of very course. exciting stuff. Of course. But we'll also be telling you how you can win the new 2021-22 Mariners jersey. Yeah, well, actually, let's just jump straight into that. Mm. So you have your chance. If you've been keeping an eye on our social media the last couple of days, you can see that we've got the hashtag Mariners TV. 
where um, if you post a photo of yourself or some family members in your Mariners colours, use the hashtag Mariners TV. We'll be keeping an eye on these. We've got our media man, Robbie, over there. So it's not too late. If you haven't done your one yet, you can pop that up on social media now. Use the tag, C uh, sorry, Mariners TV and tag CC Mariners. Want to get those right. Um, and yeah, Robbie will keep an eye on those and then we will announce the winner uh, later on the episode. But the winner will take home a brand new 2021 2022 jersey. <laughs> Gonna have to get used to saying oh, that one, I think. It yeah, is a new season. <laughs> that is across Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Hashtag Mariners TV. Yeah, you can see some of these. Oh, that's, that's great. I love that one. It's not what I was expecting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, a lot of these coming through, you know, a lot of people that have been going to the games with their mates, their families. Uh, it's actually really fantastic to see. And actually, I actually put something on Twitter the other day just trying to talk to some people about what was their favourite moments last season. Mm. Just as a fan, it doesn't actually have to be about winning the game or anything like that. And so many people were coming back with these really, really lovely, um, you know, taking their kids along to their very first game or these wonderful, like Matt Hatch's... Um, goal yeah. like there's oh. so many of these memories that actually had nothing to do whether we won or lost mm. it was actually nice scrolling through them a little bit down memory lane so yeah, i'm yeah. very excited for the season to start yeah oh absolutely i can't wait Love some both. of these graphics are absolutely oh brilliant. yes michael Dovey. <laughs> michael Dovey, of course from uh dov mac mining construction yes so. of course one of our uh, very good friends there at dmc over in perth and mm. um yeah what a season we had carly i know i know i can't wait for the next one. Oh, it's it's <laughs> so close but yet so far <laughs> Well, I guess maybe we will um, kick everything off by chatting to the main man himself, Nick Montgomery. Hey guys, how are you? Very well, thanks. Monty, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Obviously, it's challenging times for everybody, so I hope everybody's safe and well. Um, and yeah, the homeschooling's not, uh, not not too hard for everybody as it has been for my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we've got uh, three girls at home. Uh, it must be pretty hectic for you. <laughs> Well, three girls at home and then 25 uh, players at work, yeah. so I don't know what's, I don't know what's easier or harder than that. It never ends. Yeah. <laughs> and of no, course. It's been, uh, it's been fantastic to get in pre-season. Um, and yeah, obviously a day off today, so I'm helping the wife with the homeschooling. Oh, excellent. Good stuff. Well, of course, congratulations on the new role. First chance that we've had the uh, opportunity to catch up with you here on Mariners TV since that one there. How have the last few months been? Yeah, I mean, look, it's been uh, firstly, you know, fantastic to, to get the opportunity. I'm just, again, really humbled to be given the opportunity to coach the Mariners. And uh, like I said, then it's challenging times at the minute. We're in pre-season. I think we're in week seven. Uh, you know, there's possibly another, uh, you know, seven, seven to ten weeks pre-season um, before the season starts. So, look, at the minute, uh, New South Wales, Melbourne, we're, we're in a similar situation in terms of not being able to play any trial games, which is obviously a little bit different to a normal pre-season, but enjoying being in work every day. A fantastic group of players and, yeah, just, you know, just just loving every minute of it and, and yeah, just can't wait for the season to start. And um, obviously a former A-League player yourself, and then you moved into the coaching on our um, NPL squad. Now you're coaching A-League. Do you ever watch the boys and think, oh, I'd like to jump back in there and uh, maybe get back in? <laughs> oh, look, I think when you've been a player, um, you know, that transition into coaching is never easy, but uh, you know, I was thankful for the club. That, you know, they really helped me through that transition coaching in the academy and, and sort of working in a few different roles. But oh, look, I still, I still like to... To jump in sometimes i'll be a bouncer on the side and and just lift the quality a little bit in the session uh but now it's uh you know I, I, there's no substitute to playing but i think coaching is something that i've always had a really big passion for and just love love coaching the boys and, and, and seeing the boys come into work every day and with a smile on the face and enjoy being on on the training ground so um look that's uh you know that, that's one thing that I, I really love doing and you know now it's my team and Really enjoy, uh, like I said, enjoy every day and I you know, just can't wait for the season to start, like everybody. Yeah, we're absolutely itching for it. We've recently signed uh, Benny and Kalolo and Cy Goddard there, of course. They're out of quarantine, been in training for a while now. How are they fitting into the squad? Yeah, well, look, they've only been out of quarantine, I think, just over a week. So, look, it's, <laughs> for them, it's they've had an off-season, two weeks in quarantine, um, but already they've integrated really well. I mean, look, the players that we've got here, Oli Bazanich, Matty Simons, Berigetti, 
Ruon, you know, Ruon Tonya, Kai Rolls, to, to name a few. Uh, you know, they're, they're fantastic lads and they've really welcomed the boys in and I think they've settled really, really quickly. So, look, you know, with a long pre-season, um, you know, it's, it's, it's actually real positive for us that, that they're in the country now. Um, you know, they're in with the squad and it gives us plenty of time to, to really integrate them. But now already, you know, the boys have, uh, you know, the boys have hit the ground running. Well, obviously manage them the first couple of weeks just to make sure that they catch the rest of the group up who've been working hard. Um, but no, really, really happy to have them in and, and you know, no doubt they can be a real hit for the club this season. Yeah, and so along with the new faces in the team, you've actually got quite a few new faces into um, your football department. So can you tell us about some of the new staff members on board? Yeah, look, we've uh, we, you know we've we've got a real contingent from from the Central Coast. So look, Tim Knight, he's he's a well known on the Central Coast. Worked to the club uh, when I was actually a player. Uh, he's been working in the national teams, youth national teams. So I look to bring Tim in uh, alongside uh, Adam Holmes, who again from the Central Coast. He'll be working within the academy and, and helping the first team and. In terms of the physio, Steve Lloyd, uh, someone else from the Central Coast, big ties with the club. Um, so as you can see, there's a real, uh, you know, real, a real, uh, you know, passion for for people who, who love the club, and you know, it's, it's their dream job to be at the club. So you know, for us as a club, it's really good to, to bring them sort of people in. And um, on the coaching side of it, my uh, trusted uh, assistant Sergio Raimundo joins me. As assistant coach, um, we brought in Andrew Christensen, um, who is former TD at Manly, to take over the first grade role. Uh, you know, very good at play development, and spent a, quite a, a bit of time with myself and Sergio during the MPL um, in the last sort of two years. Um, so look, it's you know, I probably forgot a few there, but now we're really happy with everybody that's come in and. You know, delighted that the club have you know allowed me to assemble such a, a good uh, a good staff structure and people that you know having a real affinity to the club and yeah I'm really happy with it you know really happy with the staff structure as well as the playing squad at the minute. And um, a lot of actual uh, Mariners fans were stoked to see you appointed as the head coach. Um, you've been a fan favourite for many many years. Do you have any um, words you'd like to say to our members and fans, um, especially you know we're going to be kicking off hopefully very soon. Um, any words you would like to say to them? Yeah, just a big thank you for all the messages of support. Um, you know, I know, um, you know, I did have a lot of support when when I got offered the job, and even before the job was uh, was announced. So, you know, to have that support already, and like you said, people, I've been on the course for for nine years now. So, within the community, the fans obviously know that you know, I, you know, I'm a loyal person. Uh, I love football. I'm passionate, and and you know when uh, when the opportunity came up for me to 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 put my name forward for the job, I didn't have to think twice about it. So all I can say to the fans is, I mean, obviously we're missing you. Can't wait for for you to all be back in the stadium. Um, definitely going to you know play a, a attractive brand of football and and hopefully uh, bring everybody back to the stadium, get the attendances like we had last season, and, and really build on last season's. Um, you know, good, good, good season that we had, and yeah, just can't wait to see everybody. And yeah, we, uh, you know, I know the boys uh, definitely need that support because you know the Mariners fans are fantastic, and they can really be a massive help for us this season. Well, Monty, it is absolutely brilliant to have you on board. I know that I'm personally stoked to have you in charge. Um, thank you so much for taking the time this evening to catch up with us on Mariners TV. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Stay safe, everybody, and hopefully see you all soon. Same to you. Cheers. Monty. And uh, speaking of last season, um, we have, what, what a season it was. A lot of goals, a lot of real memorable moments like we were talking uh, before. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to throw to a video in just a moment about um, every goal from the A-League season just gone. And the there's Mariners. a few of them. There, there are <laughs> quite a few. Um, do you have a particular favourite? Oh, Matt Hatch with his first touch in the A-League on that's, debut. That's um, I mean, anything that Matt Simon scored um, for his seventh <laughs> Mariners Golden Boot, of course. Um, oh, his, his, actually, Matt Simon's chip finish away to Wanderers. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's got to be it for me. Yeah, well, I was actually going through the video before and a lot of uh, Alo Qual's uh, headers were just... Oh, the diving just, header. I know, yeah. you're just watching them and it's just exciting all over again. It's mm. like being right there. So we will throw to that video now and you can relive the highlights from last season. Now it's bouncing yeah. in front of Paul, who gets there first. Negro found him and wants it back all the way through and poked home by Danny De Silva. Bowman for Smiley. 
Into the area goes Bowman again. On goal. Smiley goes down. 2 0. Corner in. A bit more air under this one. Cole with a free header. Into Renya. Here's Matt Simon. Big moment. He cuts it back. Jaden Casella. Bowman has put it away. Had to do with our defensive cover. Here's Danny De Silva. Is that the winner? Rips it in again around the keeper. Services delivering the right people to the right places. Wondering how to clean away stubborn grease residue? Look no further than SpotGo. SpotGo, a surface and barbecue degreaser that guarantees a high quality clean every time. SpotGo. Available in all Woolworths and Coles. Look for it in the barbecue products aisle. Welcome back. We are joined at the desk by CEO Sean Mellicamp. Welcome. Cheers. It's good to be back. Absolutely. I can't believe <laughs> season three. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't Thank believe you've kept us on. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, probably um, one of, you know, something that I'm really, really passionate about, W League. Big news for the club. Um, what what can the fans expect and, and what sort of information can you provide us? Yeah, really exciting news. After many years, we've been given the green light for W League. Uh, we still have a bit of work to do in regards to making sure we've got the right facilities uh, and start you know, getting everything set up. But it's all in front of us now. So so there's no, there's no barriers or anything uh, apart from making sure that we meet the criteria that need to be met and then we're off and running, which, um, uh, which, like I said, is all in front of us. So the exciting part for us as well is that 
the W League needs to have the same level that the A League's got in mm -hmm. regards to resources, facilities, mm -hmm. uh, uh, coaching qualifications and staffing and all that, which was something that we'd always were very, very passionate about. And we wanted to make sure that when we come into the W League, we come in and actually yeah, really compete mm -hmm. right from the get-go. So, so we actually uh, uh, are glad we've got a 12-month run-in to, to, to build it up to make sure we've got everything set up so that the, the right yeah, stadium um, yeah, situation is in place, the, the training facility is in place, we've got time to recruit the coaches, we've got time to make sure we've got enough sponsors on board to get there uh, and very excited to, to look at uh, who our first announcements will be uh, in that space and, um, and looking at getting some scholarships um, uh, are ready to happen and already it's going to be a really exciting year for our girls academy now this year already there's a lot of energy, uh, there's a few changes that will be announced uh, relatively soon but I think our NPL girls will really start to thrive on this now that there's a direct pathway mm. now for our NPL girls as to where they're going and what they're doing so that's really exciting um, and how good is it? We're going to have a second team mm. represent the Central Coast on the national stage so so that's uh, that's absolutely fantastic um, it's um, anyone who knows me has been really wanting this for a very, very long time. Mm. Um, we're not all the way there, but you know it's right in mm. front of us now to get. So keen, absolutely. Hey, what's the uh, what's the latest with the start of the season, and, and what can we expect at Central Coast Stadium this season? Yeah, so the start of the season's going to be interesting. Uh, in this new COVID world, things are, are moving quickly. Uh, we were meant to get our first sneak of the draw last night, but I only just only half an hour ago got an update that it will be tomorrow, as they're working with Channel Ten and Paramount Plus on the right scheduling this there. Whilst it had been announced October 30, uh, it's already been reported that there's a likelihood that it could get shifted back by a few weeks. So that will uh, probably become official soon. So we'll wait for that official uh, announcement to happen. But what members can expect in regards to the draw is rather than a full draw this year because of COVID and the flexibility that we need, it'll come out in stages. So we'll get our first stage. We'll get our first snapshot probably from, from round one through to probably round six or seven. Uh, which will get us through to the to the Christmas New Year period, um, and then see where COVID is is moving, um, and also there's a there's a likelihood that New South Wales clubs will play New South Wales clubs, you know, first and foremost, and the interstate ones, to to alleviate some of the pressure on on border restrictions and travels uh, that's all there, and then I think the other big uh, interesting change will be will be around just the. Uh, the, the way that um, spectators are, w are welcomed into a ground uh, now with, with you know, requirements from governments around you know, vaccination levels and mm -hmm. uh, you know, rapid you know, testing opportunities that's there. There will be extra measures that's there, which will then allow us and want us to encourage everyone to get to the stadium earlier. Mm -hmm. so, so come in earlier. So then our plan is to make sure that there's a lot more happening right from the gate, gates open. Um, some great Mariners TV always happening and always on <laughs> that's there. But it's, uh, it's probably for everyone to expect that it's going to take longer to get into the ground. Um, so come in earlier, yeah. Have some more, yeah. Have, have some more uh, entertainment. A couple of craft beers along the way. I'm sure uh, won't, won't go astray. And uh, and then we're going to have a great. We're going to have a really great season. We've got a, a lot of exciting partners to 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 bring aboard, and uh, there's lots to happen. Speaking of uh, new partners, we recently announced Paladin as our new kit supplier. Um, any other sponsors you'd like to mention that have joined, yeah. the, joined the family? Massive welcome to Paladin. Uh, great, great partners. And uh, uh, we, we spent a long time talking to them today and really excited uh, about their, their ability, their, their turnarounds, the quality of their product and mm. their design capability is really exciting. And I think many of our fans had seen what uh, what they were able to do with Wellington last year. So that was a, uh, a real good indicator that there's some exciting things to happen with Paladin. And in the commercial department, I think that there's some, um, uh, so many of our familiar uh, sponsors are, are with us again. Um, so I'm really glad to, to say that Master Foods will continue on as, as one of our senior partners and the sauce bottles will be back. Great. Uh, that's there. So, so there's, there's all, all good things there. And Michael Davies uh, going to come back on board and, and stick with us like the trooper that he is. And many, many more. I think we saw there was an ad uh, before as one of our newest partners, Spotgo, yep. who have come on. So I'd like to welcome those guys as well. Um, and we have plenty more announcements, some of them that may even be on this show uh, a little bit later. But it is really good in that space. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank all the sponsors for sticking mm -hmm. with us. Uh, we're going to have a great season ahead. We've got some really exciting times and, uh, and looking forward to catching up with everybody uh, really, really quickly. Well, FIFA 22 is dropping pretty soon. Uh, is that going to maybe be the first look at the new Mariners jersey that we uh, get to see there? Look, I tell you what, I do think that yeah, if anyone had noticed, there's a lot of kit releases that are happening really, really quick right now. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and with FIFA 22 coming, uh, clubs have previously uh, been caught out, not us, I think last year. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> not once. Never happened so, to us. 
and uh, and so so I think clubs are moving pretty quickly in that space to make sure that uh, that those are out there. What fans can expect to see on FIFA 22 is probably the wrong kits a little bit. So so just know for those that they get on there and, and when you see it, it won't be exactly uh, correct. But it will get updated in November, from what I'm led to believe, mainly because two months ago we had to log in. Uh, to FIFA exactly what our kits are going to be. Mm. Uh, and right at that point in time, we hadn't finished our kits and we hadn't uh, locked in some of the exciting news that we've got. So um, so that's what we can probably expect out of FIFA. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, um, I'm sure we'll chat to you a little bit later in the show. But, um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Cheers. Thanks Cheers for having me on. You. Good stuff. <laughs> and uh, on the line, we do have Mariners medalist himself, Kai Rolls. How are you going, Kai? Yeah, good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, look, let's go back to last season. Um, oh, it feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> but um, yeah. did you also you won the Mariners medal. How did that feel? Um, yeah, it was a massive honour and a privilege to win the medal last year. And um, it's really great to have a really strong core group from last year follow on to this year as well. Matt, of course, you uh, you went over to Japan, uh, represented the Oli Roos at the Olympics there. How did it feel? What was going through your head when you walked out onto the pitch for the first time? Oh, it was just like the craziest feeling. It was it went pretty quick, to be honest, because it just happened. And yeah, it was just like a massive like moment of pride and to represent your country at such a big occasion and yeah it was just like really humbling and and honored to do it of course um did, did you get to experience much of the olympic village over there at all um no we we didn't really go in the village at all we um all our games were outside of tokyo so we kind of traveled the country a little bit and played in two different stadiums which was a good experience as well though yeah. and i guess um in that environment, especially with COVID, there would have been so many more protocols and everything to go through. How was that adjustment? Um, yeah, it was pretty um, hectic over there. Um, like we think we, we've got it like tough here, but going over there, like it's just nonstop masks, hygiene, um, pretty much just stuck in your hotel, like apart from getting on the bus and going to training in the game. So, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty strict for like, probably I think we were over there maybe four to six weeks. So yeah, it was pretty full on. Fantastic. And of course, just coming back here and looking forward to the season ahead, we've got the new gaffer, Nick Montgomery at the helm. How are things shaping up? Yeah, it's been a really good start um, to the preseason. Um, the boys are loving it and we're training hard. And yeah, the new gaffer's got us working hard, um, playing some good stuff and yeah, I'm just really excited to see um, what we can do as a group. And uh, we've actually got some special guests on the line as well. The Phillips family are joining us via Zoom. They've actually got a couple of questions for you. Uh, Alex, Hannah, Ollie and Matt. And also, Kai, I'm not sure if you remember, it was two years ago, but you actually walked out onto the field with Ollie. So this will be a little bit of a trip down memory lane and very exciting for Ollie. They've got a couple of questions to ask you, so we will throw to them. Hi, guys. Hi, Kai. How are you doing, guys? Good, thanks. I'll let, uh, I'll let Ollie ask the first question. What are your impressions of on the on the new recruits that have arrived and what are you most excited about for the upcoming season oh the new boys yeah um they're all a bunch of legends so that's a really good start um and then yeah once we got them on the field straight away we saw the qualities that they had um they're all very good players nikolai's got a bit of extra experience obviously being a bit of a veteran but uh yeah all the boys, we're getting along really well with them. And um, I'm just excited to see this group uh, come together during preseason and then round one, just ready to go and get out there and win. Um, so who is the toughest player you've come up against, either playing in the A-League or with Australia? Um, probably the Olympics experience. Uh, the toughest players definitely were in that Spain squad. <laughs> they were pretty stacked. Um, most of them boys play in La Liga over in Spain and 
Um, I'd probably say uh, Pedri or uh, maybe their striker as well, Oyazabal. Um, they're, they're two that come to mind pretty uh, straight away. So, yeah. Next question. Um, what's your favourite or most memorable sporting moment of your career so far? Um, yeah, I'd have to go back to the Olympics um, and stepping out there on the field wearing that kit um, pretty much is the most memorable so far. And um, yeah. And if you weren't playing football as a career, what would you be doing? <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> um, yeah, probably, I don't know, working a trade with my brother or um, something to do with surf life saving, maybe. Awesome. Well, thank you so much to the Phillips family and also Kai for joining us tonight. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the season ahead. And um, yeah, let's uh, head to some ads from our sponsors. Hey, Mustard, do you know why I'm Australia's favourite sauce? Your modesty. No, it's because I'm full of flavour. Mm, you're full of something. What was that? No, oh, nothing. Sausage! And that was obviously the brand new commercial from our best mates at Mate. Yes. So excellent new uh, branding got revealed today. So very exciting stuff for them. And uh, we're about to announce the winner of our Mar Mariners TV uh, Show Your Colours to Win competition. Yes. So had a lot of really great entries come through on social media. A lot of people posting on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Fantastic. So to, you know, to see all of these fans getting so involved. Mm. So we are going to announce the winner now, which will come up on the screen. Chips Magoo. Chips Magoo. <laughs> How good. And this is homeschooling Mariners style. So I'm sure there are lots of parents out there that can relate to that. Everyone out there on the devices trying to <laughs> trying to get it done. This <laughs> and, sort of new look world that yes, we're in at the exactly. moment. Exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, all in their Mariners gear. So congratulations, Chips Magoo. You will be uh, you're the proud winner of one of our new jerseys. So oh, good. So good. So good. And um, speaking of mate before, we are actually joined by the general manager, Mark Fazio. How are you going, Mark? Hey guys, how are you going? Yeah, good. Sensational, mate, sensational. Mm. Thanks for having me on. No, thank you for joining us. I guess, let's have a chat. Um, why did you start, mate? Uh, you know, I could talk about all the mumbo jumbo that comes with a corporate business, but mate was really designed to to um, take care of our family and friends. You know, if I talk about our parents, our parents migrated from Australia back in the 1950s and we saw them struggle over many years give, to give us a better life. And, you know, Mate was designed to give back to our family and friends around us. And, and that's the, ultimately the reason why we started it. You know, uh, you know uh, it's, a, it's, a family, it's a family business. It literally started in my auntie's backyard. Uh, we hired about 19 cousins. Then we ran out of family to hire, and now we're, and now we've got over 70 staff across two offices in Sydney. And um, and honestly, it's I could talk about the corporate stuff, like I said, but it truly was the purpose of making a, a better life for our family and friends. And you know that's what it was really about. Beautiful. There's obviously a lot going on in that industry. How does how does mate compare to the competition? Um, look, uh, I think. I, I personally believe that we do things very differently to our competitors. You, you know, if I look at our motto, our motto is that we're a, a cup in, we're a customer happiness business that happens to sell telco products. So we focus on the happiness of the customers first before we focus on getting a sale. I mean, look at the 
look at internet and mobile, it's not much of a muchness, right? Like, I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, internet is internet, mobile is mobile, particularly in lockdown, right? I mean, people just need to be connected. And I think what people are looking for is satisfaction from their, uh, from their company, right? And I think that's something that we offer that maybe our competitors don't. But we also focus on value as well. Like if you look at our mobile plans, mm. we're bundling, uh, we're bundling a, a streaming service title for free with our selected mobile plans. And if you bundle internet and mobile, you get a discount as well. And so I think, I think it's about happiness and satisfaction and, and value. That's, the, that's what we do different. And uh, you're obviously big football fans. What, uh, what part does football play in your life? Well, apart from being of Italian background, it's pretty much part of our DNA, right? <laughs> and uh, but I mean, like football for us is socialising. It's mm. hanging out. It's uh, it's doing something together. I mean, it's it's it goes hand in hand with pizza and, and pasta, right? Yeah. Being Italian, <laughs> so um, it, it's it's all about us. I mean. You know, and if I look at our business, uh, we we do uh, every Wednesday, well, before COVID, obviously, but um, before lockdown, every Wednesday we would have indoor soccer uh, before the for the before the work day and and catch up as a, as a as a business. But I mean, with with us, you know, it's part of our DNA. You're obviously a wonderful partner of the Central Coast Mariners. Yeah. Why the Mariners? Well, first of all, I blame my dad. Right, uh, my dad is a, my dad loves. We've, we've always holidayed on we've always holidayed on the central coast, right? And uh, and he's always been a massive fan. And I think I think first it comes from him. So no matter what, you know, we've always obviously big football fans. And the Mariners has always been, you know, a big a big. He's always been a big fan of the Mariners because of 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 you know when we holiday on the central coast. But you know, I've got a lot of friends on the central coast that I call family, and so. I think I think this, the, the, the the it's the region that makes it more than what it is, and I mean the Mariners are just a, a, a community club, you know. You know, if I look at you know Sean, Gabby, Dan, Carly, yourself, and obviously the team there, it's more than just people behind part of a business. It's 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 a real community, right? Like we're we're a community telco. You guys are a truly a community club, and you know we want to be part of that. That's what that's who we are. That's part of our DNA. Well, I guess that. Uh ties in nicely to the next big announcement that we've got. You, uh, Mate are actually our front of shirt sponsor for the upcoming season. Fantastic news. And so good. Thank you for jumping on board again. Hey, I mean, it was a no-brainer, right? <laughs> I think uh, taking on that, that partnership and that sponsorship is, uh, you know, like, I mean, you guys have helped us grow our business and get our name out there. I think uh, it's only fair that we give back in some way, shape or form. And, and uh, we love being part of the Mariners team. Oh, and we love having you. And would you like to uh, announce our next big reveal? Yes. So, I mean, I've given the privilege of, of announcing something. I think if you're a football fan, the biggest part of the season is when each your favourite team reveals their jersey, right? I think that's what <laughs> it's all about. And, and so I've got the, uh, the privilege of now revealing the season or the the the, the um the, the mariners jersey for season 20 21 22 so let's 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 throw it let's have a look here we go that is so good i it's... am in love with that so much oh I have so much time for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. So obviously, uh, Yellow Kit is our home and Blue is away. Mark, what are your thoughts? Uh, oh, we love it. It's cool. It's it's like Boca it's Juniors awesome. sort of ish type of thing. And I think it's it's getting to you know the European type of uh, look as well. We love it. I think uh, I think I hope, uh, I think it's the biggest it's the biggest part of the season. We're revealing the jersey. That's what. That's what you want to do. That's why you want to get involved. And I think Paladine, uh, Paladine have done a great job. And uh, congratulations on, on getting such a sexy looking jersey. Can't wait to wear it. <laughs> it's fantastic. And thank you so much for joining us on Mariners TV tonight. Um, we look forward to seeing you throughout the season and um, welcome again. No worries. Can't, can't wait. Go Mariners. Thanks, Mark. See ya. Um, absolutely fantastic jersey. So um, I don't know if we can cut to it in just a moment and have a look, but very cool. Um, obviously, home, the yellow, away is the blue. And then there also is a third kit, which will pop up on the screen shortly. 
Pete, what are your initial thoughts? I had to kind of hold back my <laughs> yeah. reaction a little bit there because <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing it and I am absolutely blown away with how good that looks. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, even the little things, once we do the proper kit launch, this is kind of a teaser reveal. Once we do the official launch, you'll see so many details in these kits that are so exciting and really unique and I just can't wait to have them in our hands. I'm they so are fantastic. Keen. Sign me up. I'll take one of each. <laughs> home away alternate keepers kit just give it Have all, all. Yeah, yeah. and uh, once again a huge thank you to mate who are the new front of shirt sponsor for the 2021 2022 season i there will get that correct eventually <laughs> and um we might actually speak to sean again about our jersey he was um involved in this so do you want to jump in or do yeah, you want to hang absolutely. out in the jerseys or? come on over here absolutely yeah. so <laughs> Um, just talking about the jersey, as I sort of alluded to a little bit before with FIFA, this is exactly what to start to expect. And uh, so they'll be on pre-sale from the 1st of October. Uh, you'll be able to get the pre-sale uh, jerseys that's through from there. Uh, palm trees are in the back of the neck, still there. Fantastic branding that's on the front. Uh, the inspiration was really about uh, looking at some of the, the Boca Juniors mm -hmm, uh, sort, of, mm -hmm, sort of concepts mm -hmm. that's there, which is a homage to our academy. Yeah, absolute homage to, to the great work that our academy does, what it represents. We've got some really good details that are going to come out when we launch it, so I don't want to let all the cat out of the bag right now, but it's a jersey that we're really proud with. And uh, you may see very subtly down the back here, it says um, one of Monty's quotes, you, you play your heart out for what's on the front of the jersey, and everyone will remember what's on the back. So there's some cool little details that are going to come through on uh, on this jersey. It's very important for us. Yeah, it's it. fantastic. Yeah. That was one of my first thoughts. Was it was the Boca Juniors sort of style to it? And uh, I can't overstate how excited I am to get my hands on this. I wish I had on camera the little dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. So. And also uh, Paladin producing an excellent kit for us. Uh, great to have them on board this year. Absolutely. Mm. We would not have been able to get a, a jersey with, the, uh, with this quality and detail if it wasn't for Paladin. So it's, uh, it's great to have them on board. So good. Excellent. Thank cool. you. Cheers. <laughs> And um, I guess that brings us to the end of episode one of season three of Mariners TV. We made it. We, we did. Got, we got through. Got through. <laughs> bit rusty the first one, but, you know, it'll get better from here. And um, thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you to Nick Montgomery, Kai Rolls, the Phillips family, Mark from Mate, uh, Sean, of thank course, you. Sean, the wonderful JC Entertainment oh my and goodness. events, of course, here Honestly, in the studio. I wish that other people could be in here and see the amazing setup they have in here. Obviously, you know, during COVID, you've got to pivot and mm -hmm. love that word. Pivot. 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 <laughs> and, um, you know, do these new things. And the setup they have is fantastic. Oh, honestly. like we said at the start, the absolute glitz and glamour. We yes. are treated here, aren't we? So. And <laughs> also a big thank you as well to Deluxe Art and also Sinorama at Tugra for their amazing support. And um, But we'll see you in the next episode. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks all for tuning in once again and we'll see you next time. Thank you.